All right, so the Oscar nominations are out, and a man named Nick DiGiulio is going to fill us in on those. I don't know what happened, but a few years ago, I stopped going. Did we have, like, a, a pandemic or something? Because I didn't go to the movies as much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I fell off on stuff like the award shows since then. Are you into the Oscars? I am completely into the Oscars, but I feel a little... At this point, kind of like you do. I mean, I'll, I'll still see the movies as screeners because we get them because we're SAG members. Um, but I, it's kind of like not really a surprise anymore. You know, it's like but they have the 10? person who gets all the hype yeah. always gets the award. It's not like, oh, my gosh. You know, it's not a surprise anymore. Like I could, uh, like Roberto, could probably look at all this Roberto and say. Roberto Benigni winning best actor and jumping on the stand, <laughs> yeah. jumping on people in the crowd yeah. or whatever. It used to be just a, a production and moving, and now it's know. just to me. Do we have Nick? Is he ready? Is he on Zoom? Is that, is that not what it once okay. was? Uh, Nick DiGiulio standing by. All right. Any surprises? Hello. Are, are you there? Yes, caller. Oh, okay. here. All right, fine. <laughs> Hi, are you there? Yeah, Listen, yeah. I have a problem with the two senators that you have on. Any surprises? Yes. Um, a couple of big snubs, uh, both involving Barbie, which was the best movie of last year by miles. Um, the fact that Greta Gerwig did not get nominated for Best Director, oh, to me, didn't? Really? All, I... all validity for the Academy Awards this year went right out the window. That's I, amazing. I'm there. stunned about I that. I thought she'd yeah, get nominated. I thought she'd me win. Too. Highest grossing movie nope. of the year? Come on. Well, figuring uh, well, out a, well just figuring out a way to tell a story about Barbie. Yes. And do yeah. it in a way yeah. that people kept going to the movie again and again and again. Sure, you need a uh, she got, she got order a, she got a, with she got a, Nick. She, she got a screenplay nomination uh, along with Noah Baumbach. Why? Screenplay. You know what, though? Question, Nick. Why is it best adapted screenplay okay. and, instead one of, of the original? Many, one of the many unbelievably stupid things that the Academy uh, made a decision of this year was they decided that it was adapted screenplay because Barbie was already a character that existed in other things. So it had existed in cartoons. It existed in the in the in the yeah, in but the nobody doll. had nobody, nobody, but it. No, it is yeah. from a book. It's or, stupid. Right. No, it's completely ridiculous. Which means it's guaranteed it won't win because stupid ass Oppenheimer is uh, is, is nominated. In the <laughs> of course, <category>. right, <laughs> right. Uh, and by the way, if you if you if you do have um if you do Hold have on a second, wait, wait, wait. I just <laughs> love the idea that the phrase "stupid ass Oppenheimer," the guy that arguably <laughs> saved the free world uh, for democracy. I know it's a movie, yeah. but stupid ass. Yeah. Oppenheimer makes me laugh. Well, okay, I'm going to refer to it only as that <laughs> from now on, um, because it will, you, if you have a, if you're that. going to a party, if you're going to a party and you are going <laughs> to you know be a part of the of the of the of the of the you know you just fill out your ballots and you're going to win a poll, just bet on Oppenheimer, dumbass Oppenheimer, stupid ass Oppenheimer <laughs> to win everything, because it will win everything. It's nominated for 13 Academy Awards, <laughs> and it will win I think everything except supporting actress which Emily Blunt is nominated for because Emily Blunt got nominated for playing one of two insane, crazy, drug-addicted women that Christopher Nolan likes to portray in his movies. Uh, listen, so, you, uh, yeah, Emily Blunt, uh, whatever she does is fine with me. No, I, you know, except in in in, in, in stupid-ass Oppenheimer. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, it, won, it was nominated for 13 Academy Awards. The other snub was Margot Robbie, not nominated for Best Actress for Barbie. Mm -hmm. um, so... And another snub, and this is this is a big one. Adapted screenplay, Killers of the Flower Moon was not nominated for adapted screenplay, and that's kind of a big one because everybody thought it would be nominated in that category, and it wasn't. Um, so those were the those were the the major snubs. Surprise, right, well, America let, Ferreira. Let, 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 yeah. uh, America Ferreira was what nominated for supporting actress for Barbie, and nobody thought she would be, and she gave that's because she gave the best monologue of the year in okay. Barbie, she did, and yeah. she got herself an Oscar nomination. It was a great surprise, but then Margot Robbie doesn't get nominated, and Greta Gerwig doesn't get nominated, so it's, you know, so ridiculous. Dumb. It is. All right, so it's ridiculous. best picture, Barbie, American Fiction, Anatomy of a Fall. You know what, uh, Andre, you may not know this. Anatomy of a Fall is uh, the question they ask when I go to the doctor now where they go, are you afraid of falling at home? <laughs> when you step is. outside today. <laughs> uh, the Holdovers, yeah. Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro Oppenheimer, Past Lives, Poor Things, The Zone of Interest. Give me three of those that have a shot. Uh, well, only one has a shot, and it's it's stupid ass Oppenheimer. Uh, but the other ones that could possibly, the other ones that that possibly could cause a, a stir are poor things because it's gonna, you know, it's it, the people are really starting to dig that movie. And the only other one uh, in there that could possibly is um, for some reason Anatomy of a Fall is really showing up big. The director got the slot. The director of Anatomy Fall got the slot of that Greta Gerwig should have gotten for Barbie. What, what is Anatomy of a Fall? How do I not know the movie? 
Um, it is a it's well, it's a United it's a movie from the United Kingdom, but it's also in German, it's also in French, it's oh, also in Christ English. It's a about bicycle. a guy <laughs> he, he nominated for a BAFTA, no training, not an Oscar. Uh, and it fly and, and so what happens is a guy falls out of a uh, there's a husband and wife and the, and the, the husband falls out of a, the top of a, 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 a building, uh, not a building, a, a house and dies. And it's they take this woman to trial for murder. And it's about uncovering whether or not she pushed this guy or whether she killed him or what happened. Um, it's a good movie, not a great movie. I had many issues with the second half of it. Um, but the fact that people are just going nuts. Uh, Sandra Hiller got nominated for Best Actress for it. Um, and um and yeah, and so so uh, you know this this is the one that might sneak. I'm in there. surprised you're not upset about the best actor thing because wasn't Ryan Gosling great in Barbie? He was, but I didn't. I, he was supporting actor, and he and uh, and and he did get nominated. Oh, okay. So, so I thought he was. Yeah. Uh, I thought he would have had a lead. Okay. And he got a no, song the, nomination too, right? <clears throat> he did. Well, yeah. Two songs from uh, Barbie got nominated. Uh, uh, what was I made for? Which is from uh, Billie Eilish, and I'm just Ken. Uh, which, if he doesn't perform at the Academy Awards, uh, I, I will be more upset than I am right now. Uh, Kimmel's so, hosting again, right? Kimmel is hosting again. Yeah, yeah that's um, fine. And, uh, yeah, me, uh, like best him. actor: Bradley Cooper, uh, Paul Giamatti. Uh, is it Killian or Jillian or Cillian? What's Killian. Killian, Killian, Killian Murphy, or Jeffrey Wright, mm -hmm. American Fiction. Who do you like? Right. I, well, who do I like or who's going to win? Who's gonna I win? like Paul Giamatti. Well, who's going to win? Killian Murphy. It's if 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 stupid I know, ass stupid ass 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 I got it. Uh, best actress: uh, Annette Bening, Lily Gladstone. Yeah. Uh, Sandra Huller. He Huller. Huller for, yeah. Uh, Carrie Mulligan or Emma Stone. <laughs> Emma Stone, right? Isn't she great? Um, well, it's the best performance that any human gave this past year was Emma Stone in Poor Things. But um, there is a huge push uh, for Lily Gladstone. It's between Lily Gladstone and Emma Stone. I actually think at this point Emma Stone is going to get it. Um, but those are the two. It's it's that that's the race. Julie Glad or uh, uh, Lily Gladstone and Emma Stone. Has Those Emma, the, uh, Emma Stone has won Stone. before? Yes. Yeah, she won for La La Land. That's it, La La Land. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, supporting mm -hmm. actors: Sterling K. Brown, De Niro, Downey Jr., Gosling, or Ruffalo. Strongest right. category? Um, no, because it's stupid ass Oppenheimer is in there. So Robert Downey <laughs> Jr. will win. Uh, Mark, either Mark Ruffalo or Ryan Gosling deserve. Actually, everybody is good except for Robert. Robert Downey's terrible in Oppenheimer, but the other four guys are great. De Niro's great. Sterling K. Brown is great. Mark Ruffalo, Ryan Gosling, they're all fantastic. They're all great performances. Supporting but actress: uh, Emily Blunt, Danielle Brooks, America Ferrara, Jodie Foster, uh, Divine Joy Randall for the holdovers. Yeah. Um, Jodie Foster got a shot. Uh, she does, but I think it's going to go to Divine Joy Randolph for the holdovers. One, because it's the best performance out of the five by far. And there's a lot of buzz behind her and a lot of push behind her. And Jodie Foster's got like two Oscars already. So, um, you know, um, the but fact that Daniel you know, the Brooks. The fact that that voting, I know it goes on that way, but the fact that voting goes on does. that way, it's just dumb. Yeah, I agree. It is. It, it, but that's the, that's the Academy Awards. It's like, okay, if you're due for an Academy, like, you know, if you're due for an Academy, like Paul Newman won his Academy Award for the color of money. Yeah. Not for like the hustler for and the not verdict. for HUD and not yeah. for the verdict, yeah. you know. And so it's like, ah, geez, he's due. He's like 75. Mm -hmm. Give him an Oscar. And why are they, Even doing, why are they doing three honorary awards this year? I mean, you could do Angela Bassett, Mel Brooks. Separately, but Angela Bassett, Mel Brooks, and Carol Littleton are all getting honors, right? They do that. No, they do. They do a couple or three a year. They do. They do. Uh, uh, yeah, and I can't wait to see Mel Brooks. That'll be great. I'll tell you what. My my favorite Oscar nomination of the year, uh, and Tom Hush will be jumping up and down for this as well because we were. I was very uh, last year. My big my big happiness moment was when Andrea Riseborough got nominated for Best Actress. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. to, to Leslie, which best performance ever. But my big surprise and big joy jumping for joy was in the visual effects category because a Godzilla movie got nominated oh, for, for cool. an Oscar. Wow. Yeah. So Godzilla minus Godzilla minus one is an Oscar nominated film. Yeah. Yeah. So, and by the way, John Williams, John Williams got nominated for, uh, for the Indiana Jones score, which is just a recycled version. Are you ready for this? Get, take a guess at how many times you think this is, what nomination do you think this is for John Williams? Take oh, a guess at how many be, times. It's gotta be a nominated. dozen. I'm right? going to say 50. 50. Okay. Higher than 50. What? See, I knew it was a lot. Come he on. He gets nominated every year for his soundtrack. 54 nominations. This is his 54th nomination. Wow. John Williams. How many has he won? <laughs> He's won, I think, five. Oh, my wow. God. Five or six. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, All he right. won't win wow. this year because it's going to go to stupid ass Oppenheimer. But he won't, he won't win. <laughs> All right. And lastly, we're way late here. But lastly, do we know, uh, at least at this point, who will be snubbed in the obituary montage of well, uh, best celebrities that died? I'll tell you what, based on the Emmys, you know who got snubbed at the Emmys just last week? No. Ryan O'Neill. And Ryan O'Neill right? had a successful TV show with Farrah Fawcett uh, in, the, in, the, in the early 90s. 
and, and did a lot of TV work, did not show up in the montage. So we'll have to figure that out. Maybe Ryan O'Neill will get snubbed this year. Who knows? Um, yeah. Um, boy, they better not treat Norman Lear poorly. He better make mm -hmm. the cut. Yeah. Yeah. He did make a couple of movies. He directed a couple of movies. So, I mean, you know, Howard that's mostly Stern's, TV. That he Howard Stern's wardrobe guy, Ralph Sorella. I oh, probably won't make the cut. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, man. Thank you. Okay, buddy. Take care. See you later. Nick DeGilio okay. updating us on Oscar nominations for the morning.